Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. Um, today, Ultra Majin Vegeta got uh, revealed, and I think he's going to be coming out tomorrow. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to say you probably shouldn't summon for him, since uh, he's probably just going to be immediately overtaken by every single unit from the Legends Fest that's coming out literally in a month from now. However, I'm still going to read all of his abilities, and we're going to see uh, how good he is, which, I mean, he's an Ultra, so he's probably going to be good. Also, I have a new PC set up and all that, so if, it, if I look different, which I should, because now you're facing a different wall, uh, yeah. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's just get right into this, then. Time for a lot of fucking talking. Uh... Strengths, Blast Arts counter. If hit by a Blast Arts, blast arts when the unique gauge is full, in, including when cover changing, uh, Vegeta will counter the attack, inflict all enemies with no switching, and even draw special move arts. This allows you to hit a particular enemy with a special move arts. Hidden or ability to inhibit opponents. When you fill up the unique gauge, Enemy special move and special arts will be sealed, plus if you land a blast, blast arts, the cost of their strike arts will increase. If your opponent is wary of Vegeta's counter, their offensive options will be limited. It, it'll be easier to bait out a blast arts, which is great with Vegeta's blast arts counter. Powerful ultimate arts. Inflicts no switching on activation. The ultimate arts even inflicts half of the damage to enemy members on standby. Use it and KO the enemy if you're KO the enemy you're aiming for. Easy to use offensive abilities. Nullify enemy special cover changes on special hit arts hit. Also, you'll nullify enemies special cover changes upon entering battlefield. And what's more, you'll inflict substitution counts if your opponent if you need a particular enemy taken down, use these effects and get that KO. Settle the score with your rivals using Ultra Majin Vegeta, the prince, the Saiyan prince whose heart burns with cruel and merciless fire once more. He is type yellow. Tag Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and Vegeta clan, and Majin Buu Saga. I bet they're gonna buff only Majin Buu Saga for him and not actually uh, buff. Uh, Vegeta Clan, which is something that actually needs buff. Majin Buu Saga just can't fucking work as a team. Not yet, at least. The Z ability? Oh, look at that, Majin Buu Saga and Saiyan, not even fucking Vegeta Clan, oh my god. <laughs> the maxed out one is 5% to awaken an ultimate damage for Majin Buu Saga Z, 42% to episode Majin Buu Saga Z, and tag or tag Saiyan, base strike, attack, and defense during battle. <laughs> By the way, I think that this gauge that he has is very similar to uh, Ultra Gogeta Blues. I believe that's like... Very, very similar. The Ultra ability, if it's the leader, he gets 30 key... Or 30 key... 30% reco key recovery and 30% damage inflicted. Can't be cancelled. And then the same thing for each Majin Buu Saga. Uh, up to 15%. For each Majin Buu Saga battle or support member. Um, strike. Strike arts have armor, so charge in without fear of enemies' blast arts, plus inflict heavy bleed on hit. Okay, fucking Goku Black. He's stealing Goku's black drip, dude. What the fuck? Inflict strike arts up on hit. Blast inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade plus 30 to strike arts cost for 5 timer counts on hit. Oh my god, that's a lot of fucking damage. That's a lot of key to go up by, holy fuck. Special move. If the unique gauge is full, you'll draw special arts and, inc and increase the enemy substitution count. Deals massive impact damage. The following effects occur upon activation. 30% to special move damage inflicted for 3 timer counts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade. Minus 50 to health restoration for 10 timer counts. The following effects also occur if own unique gauge is full. Draw special arts card next. 
plus 30% to damage and special move damage inflicted for three timer counts. Inflict enemy with attribute downgrade plus five to substitution count and for plus five to substitution count for 10 timer counts and blast armor when charging forward. So it's a melee again. I really wish it'd be arranged. <sighs> yeah, if you guys couldn't tell, I literally just woke up. Um, special nullify nullifies enemy destroy card effects and special cover changes on hit. If the unique gauge is full, you'll even nullify own unfavorable element factors. Applies the following effect to self upon activation. Randomly draws at most two new cards when you have three or fewer cards. Restores key by 50. Plus 20% to damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. Applies the following eff effects to self on hit. Is this an AoE green? Applies the applies buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 10 timer counts applies the buff effect nullifies enemies destroy card effects for 10 for five timer counts also nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 10 timer counts if own unique gauge is full combable arts strike blast special move ultimate i think that might be an aoe green i wasn't really paying attention to the uh video that was released the video that released i kind of like I kind of watched it, but not really. I, I literally just woke up, okay, so I can't really watch the video. I just saw that it was going to be Ultra Majin Vegeta and was like, okay, time to make a good deal. Ultimate. Inflicts no switching on activation, so you'll be able to inflict huge damage on an enemy of your choice, plus half of the damage inflicted will be dealt to enemy members on standby remember that blast arts are nullified when charging forward too. deal supreme explode damage the following effects occur upon activation 40 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts can't be canceled nullify nullifies enemies restores health when it reaches zero effects when this character attacks for 20 timer counts so no endurance cancels own attribute downgrades inflicts all enemies with no switching for three timer counts oh my god wake up god damn it the following effects occur and the following effects also occur if the unique gauge is full plus 20 percent the damage inflicted ultimate damage inflicted for 30 timer counts reduces enemy key by a hundred Cancels enemy uh, attribute upgrades and buff effects. Half of the damage inflicted will also be dealt to the enemy members on standby and hit. Nullifies blast starts when charging forward. This cannot cause them to be defeated. I hate that. It should. It should always. This thing should go away. Cannot cause them to be defeated. That should just go away. We're so past that part already. That should just not happen. Especially on an ultra, it'd be a very good way to test it out. But they're scared. Recover main ability recover a bunch of health and key while also charging the unique age by 50% You'll even seal the enemy's rising rush. So save this ability for when you need it most Draw the ultimate arts card big blast cannon next Restore own health by 30% and key by 50 Charges on unique gauge by 50% 30% to damage inflicted against tag sand for 15 timer counts That's good and seals enemies rising rush for 10 timer counts. That's also good. However, the 25 timer counts to elapse, you probably already got comboed the fuck out of, and, uh, you probably, um, what is it? You probably got comboed for, like, the entirety of that time, and then they already have a rush anyways, and they're just gonna rush you immediately. Or not, I mean, I don't fucking know. Enter the battlefield to inflict all enemies with substitution counts and nullify their special cover changes this their special move ultimate awakened arts awakened arts power will be reduced to plus enemy buff effects will even be canceled if they are if they use a special move ultimate or awakened arts while vegeta is on the battlefield so use this character to withstand your opponent's special move and ultimate arts but not the rising rush he can't do that of course not if hit by an enemy's attack, Vegeta's remaining health is 50% or lower, recover a ton of health, and destroy all of your opponent's strike arts. When own health reaches zero, this character will recover health with its endurance effect, as well as destroy your opponent's strike arts and seal all enemies' main abilities. Use these effects to survive and stay in the fight. 
Woo! Applies the following effect to self when battle starts. Charges unique gauge by 50%. 200% to damage inflicted. Oh my god. I think the last one was like 190. We finally reached we finally reached it, boys. Plus 200%. Let's fucking go. Reduces damage received by 70%. Reduces impact and explode damage received by 10%. Increases Arts card draw speed by one level, minus 10 to strike and blast Arts costs, all of which can't be cancelled. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 50% to damage inflicted, increases own Arts card draw speed by one level for 10 timer counts, applies, the, applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover, so cover null to, te to sell for 10 timer counts. Uh, Destroys all of your enemy's special move arts. Reduces enemy key by 30. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 30% to special move, ultimate, and awakened arts power for 10 timer counts. Plus 2 to all enemy substitution counts. The following effects to self applies the following effects to self what, every time when faced with an enemy. Randomly draws one new card if you have three or fewer cards. Restores on key by 30, plus 15 to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. The following effects occur if own remaining health is 50% or lower when hit by an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the battlefield. Activates once. Restores own health by 40%. Nullifies own attribute downgrades for 30 timer counts. Destroys all of your enemy strike cards. The following effect occurs when own health reaches zero. Activates once. Restore on health by 40% again. Destroys all of your enemy's strike arts cards again. Reduces enemy dragon balls by two. Okay, so that's how he gets rid of the rising rush. And steals all enemies' uh, main ability for five timer counts. Cancels enemy buff effects every time they use a special move ultimate awakened arts card while this character is on the battlefield. Activates three times. I think that's similar to uh, MVP 17. The blue one? Because he also did something similar to this, except it was also for Rising Rushes. I don't know. Um, this seems really broken, though. So far, this character looks really good. He's a fucking Ultra, I'd hope so. Has a special cover change against Strike Arts. Vegeta's unique gauge will, rapid will charge rapidly while on the battlefield, and it will... Full, and when it fully charges, unfavorable element factors for damage sustained will be nullified. Plus, the gauge can be consumed to activate a counter against blast arts. This counter activates when changing cover, and activating, and activating it will greatly restore your key and vanishing gauge, and draw a special move arts. Since all enemies will be inflicted with no switching, you'll be able to combo into a new into a special move from your counter and deal damage to your opponent to your enemy you're aiming to take down. Knocks enemy back to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike arts. Act activates during assist, comparable with the special move. Rapidly charges on unique gauge while this character is on the battlefield. The following effects occur once unique gauge is full. Restores on health by 20%. Nullifies unfavorable, own unfavorable element factors for damage sustained for 15 timer counts. Seals enemy special move and special arts. The sealed arts cannot be used for 5 timer counts. <laughs> Okay. While this character is in one of the following states, if all unique gauge is full, consumes the entire unique gauge to counter enemies' blast arts, activates three times. Standing still, attacking, moving, or charging key, receiving an attack after switching, cover changing, or during assist. If all unique gauge is full, when Cover when changing cover during assists, this counter will be given priority. What excludes abnormal conditions and special states caused by certain arts? Own the unique age will disappear after the counter activates three times, comparable with a special move in the ultimate arts. Also occurs when counter activates, randomly destroys your own cards and draws a special move arts card next. Restores on key by 50, restores on vanishing gauge by 50, 
um, cancels enemies' attribute upgrades and buff effects, and inflicts all enemies with no switching for 3 timer counts. You know, this ability right here seems like a budget uh, Gogeta, Ultra Gogeta Blue. I'm not even gonna lie. Ultra Gogeta Blue, he fucking flicks his hand, makes the barrier, they all go away, he just flips around and kicks you in the face and then can combo it with anything. This guy, he has to charge his unique gauge completely, and then he only gets to use it, he uses the entire fucking thing once, and he can only do it three times, dude. He can only do it three times. Ultra Gogeta Blue can do it like infinite, almost. He just seems like he's trying so hard to be an Ultra Gogeta Blue and he's just failing. I mean, yeah, he's not a terrible unit. Of course, I, I can't say too much about him though, because like, we're gonna have to see how he actually performs in, uh, we're gonna have to see how he actually performs in game to actually know how he does. I don't know if I'm gonna be summoning on this. If I had to guess, probably not, because as I said, we're literally like less than a month away from Legends Fest, and Legends Fest is gonna have characters that are gonna blow him out of the water immediately, basically. And also, I won't have CC to summon on the best characters in the game, which will be during Legends Fest. Um, yeah. So, personally, I think he's he's basically just trying to be Ultra Gogeta Blue, but a newer version of it. He's not terrible, from what I read. He he's pretty fucking good. However. Um, we just, we're so close to the Legends Fest that I can't recommend anybody actually summon for this dude. Um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, uh, Dragon Ball Legends content. Also Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And yeah, uh, have a nice day.